all right guys uh, welcome back to another video uh, in this video we'll be seeing about the continuation of the registration form which is included with the database so as you can uh, see this is the code one minute uh, yeah that's okay so this is the code for the registration form and here is a code snippet for the database which is the second part the first part was only about the GUI and thing here it's it's about the GUI as well as the database so this is about database here I've just created some uh, variables for storing out the values for the entry fields and widgets and that is the checkbox and radio buttons and uh, yep and getting the value from those widgets and inserting into the table so in this function i've just created this uh, database which is forms db and uh, in within the form db i've just created a uh, table name student so the student name uh, the student details consist of the full name email gender country and programming language so this is how you create a table and uh, this is how you can create a table so uh, this is how you can create a table and how you can enter values within the tables pardon me for that and uh, yep so this is a function database and this is the button just bind it with the button method and it's all done that's it here I've just uh, I was just struggling with the uh, one thing that uh, for the uh, programming which is the text box and I'll just show the output first and yeah so here I'll, I was just struggling with something uh, with the programming and gender so I was unable to uh, um, produce a, uh, or store the values of male and female in the string form so it will just uh, consider the integer value so as you can see oh, for gender I just taken uh, okay so where is equal to integer value and where one is equal to integer value it's not a string value for so for this I'll just show you here for male I'm just considered as one and from female it is considered as two and for same for the programming Java for one and Python for two so I'll just show you the output really quick by opening the DB browser and yeah so here I just enter okay Dexter now okay eight seven at yahoo.com and uh, mail select your country Iceland oh, that's some exotic place and Java and as soon as I click on this button submit it will just create a database and within the database it will store these values so okay and that's done I'll show you with the help of this uh, small application which is a DB browser SQLite so it is used for uh, looking for it is used for seeing out a and database extension and yeah this is the database job created and open so the column names are full name email gender country and programming and these are the names email and as I've told you before for mail I'm considering one that is integer value for mail one and for Java it is one and uh, now I'll just add a new name Eric 34 and Gmail by the way this is this was uh, the previous one was not my original email so don't look out for that and mail let's do South Africa Java submit and refresh so as you can see both of them have been added into the database quite efficiently so you don't have to run this uh, uh, creation of the 
form every time it's it's now once created it is created over here and you just have to every time run the application which is this and add the names and information you want to put in through so I, uh, if if there is uh, any better solution for this for this specific uh, gender and programming so how to add any uh, database value widgets um, which are the radio buttons and checkbox in the database if you have any better solution for that please comment down below I'll really appreciate it because I was really struggling with these two options so yeah it can be helpful if it was considered well so if, if, if there is any better option for this please comment down below and the code for this entire video will be provided in the description below and uh, yep and that's it uh, this is the registration form and this is the database so both part one is available in the previous uh, on my channel and this is the video about database so thanks for watching this video guys and see you in the next one